Hi all, in this video, let's understand about React Portal and its use cases. Usually React Portal is, uh, is a way to render our children component into the DOM node, but outside of the parent DOM. So let's uh, check that with an example. So here uh, we have two buttons. So if you understand, if I click, this is a body elements and uh, dev container, we have two buttons here. So, okay. So if I click normal model component, so it is, it is rendered inside this container component. So that's the reason we have rendered our model component inside the container. So because of that, it inherits the height, width, and all other properties of the parent component. So that's the reason it is not visibly, visible clearly because the height and width of the parent container is only this much. So it can't take more than that. So these are the uh, normal use cases where we need to look for the React portal concept. So if you understand, the, because this component was resided inside this container component, we got this issue. So I will close this component. I will show you one, one more thing. If I open this component, uh, the same model component outside of the DOM. So if I open this portal model, if you observe, this component is outside our container. It, if you understand, the, if you see the, it was rendered here. It was attached to the document body. It was not attached to the container. It was not inside the container component. So that's the reason it will not inherit all these container uh, width, height, and other CSS properties like overflow, ZDNX, all those properties it can avoid. So in a traditional model, uh, we develop a, a traditional JavaScript will be developing a model by using overflow and JD indexes on top of this container. We need to show the model, right? So we'll be using all those CSS properties where it will override, it will inherit all these properties from the parent component. So that's the reason in the earlier case, we are not able to see this model fully. So in this case, if you understand the root is here, the container is here, the button is here, but we have rendered our component, portal React component outside of this parent component, parent DOM. It is attached here. So this is the definition React is saying, React portal is saying. It, it is a way, React portal is a way to render our child, like a model component is rendering a component into the DOM. We have rendered this into the DOM, but outside of the parent hierarchy. So this is the, what the definition mean. So let's understand how we have done this. So usually we'll be using React DOM only once in the application. So that is in the index.js to render our main component into the DOM. Whereas to use this React portal, we need to use it one more time. So that's the reason I have imported here, import React DOM from React DOM, okay? So here, if you are here, this is the syntax. This React DOM dot create portal will be taking two parameters. So the first parameter is a component. It can be a React component. It can be a string. It can be a fragment as well. Anything. The first parameter would be these things. So the second parameter would be the DOM node to which DOM node this component should be attached. I'm asking to attach this DOM node to the document dot body. So that's the reason if you understand this component was attached to the document dot body, not to the parent container. So if you observe the parent component here, so it is here. So it is not attached to its parent container component. It was directly attached to, to the DOM document body as we have mentioned here. So because of this, we could oh, we could uh, resolve some problems like it can uh, inheriting the width height from the parent components and uh, making the overflow overflow properties jdnx properties we can't we no need to maintain all those things we can straight away attach our component to document dot body so that it appears same as if it is in the dom node so even though the portals are rendered outside the dom so if you observe even though it is rendered outside the dom it will it will behave same as the other react components so it will be able to access the props and context APIs, everything, because this portal resides inside the React component tree. It will be still available to the React component tree. This is the this only affects the HTML structure. It will not impact the React component tree. For example, if you have React developer tools, 
if you install react developer tools we'll be getting the components and profile tabs here so if you understand here the portal still it is a structure hierarchical structure it is available under the react component tree itself so also the react will have all the control over this portal node so this is all about the react portal hope you understand this so we have some use cases where to use this react portals so for example if you are using models just now i have set the example with models so also for the tooltip components hover cards and loader components also we can use this react portals so whereas coming to this portals it will be as as similar as other react components it will be accepting props context api everything and also even bubbling is also available when when you are using this only it affects the html dom node so hope you understand this concept for more videos please subscribe to the channel thanks